Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. We all know that Root came out for the Verizon Galaxy Note 3 just a couple of days ago. Of course, the first thing that everybody wants to do is uh, find out how to Wi-Fi tether for free on their Galaxy Note 3. What would you say if I told you that you didn't need Root at all in order to uh, tether wirelessly for free on the Galaxy Note 2? Pretty amazing concept, right? Well, it's pretty simple. There's actually a bug in TouchWiz on the Verizon Note 3 that allows you to tether without subscribing to the tethering service and without hacking your phone in any way. So all you have to do is go into apps, settings, you go to more settings, and you'll go to the mobile hotspot. Don't turn it on yet. We're going to configure our settings. So uh, what you want to do here is choose a password. Mine's always pretty easy. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it is always pretty easy. So you'll just kind of choose a password there, and then you'll go to the Play Store. So on the Play Store, you're going to download the Hotspot Toggle Widget. And then you're going to go into your widgets and find the Hotspot Toggle Widget and add that to your home screen. You guys can see that I've already got it added there. Uh, so pretty simple. All you have to do is hit the toggle to toggle that on. As soon as it asks you to go to Verizon Mobile or call customer service, all you got to do is hit the home button and you are now tethering. So real quickly, I'm going to bring it up on my MacBook here and show you guys that we are indeed tethering. So as you can see, the hotspot is activated and we'll go ahead and pull it up on the MacBook. And it's going to show up as this SM in 900 VOA 53 or it may be different depending on what carrier you have we'll go ahead and choose that and I've already got my password uh, typed in from where I was tethering earlier so we're now connected to the internet via our Wi-Fi tether hotspot on the Verizon Galaxy Note 3 go ahead and open up our browser and check out speedtest.net See what kind of speeds we're running normally in my area because I'm kind of on the fringe of the network. I get about 10 meg down and about 1.5 to 3 up, which is actually faster than my AT&T DSL that I have. So go ahead and begin the test. And we're running about a little less than 10 down and probably about 1.5 up. Of course, this is going to be much faster depending on where in the United States you live. Anyways, guys, this is how you tether for free on your Verizon Galaxy Note 3 without hacking it in any way. Root is not required at all for this to work. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Note 3 and other devices like the Note 3. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks again for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.